Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. This is a 2011 BMW X1 and in this video we're going to be changing all the brake pads. So I said this needed new brake pads, I did have a look at it uh, previously and knew we were going to need new brake pads So first thing we do before we do anything is to find the brake reservoir That's screen wash, that's power steering, that's probably the coolant Try to find the brake master cylinder, it could be under one of these covers I'm not sure where it is on these I think this is probably an air filter Oh there we go, we found it And it, uh, what we need to do is unscrew this because when we push, push the pistons in on the pads it's going to push the fluid up and the level in the master cylinder is going to rise So if I take it cap off we allow we're allowing a room for the for the brake fluid level to go up. So we can now uh, start work and I'm gonna start on the fronts. So pull the wheel off and then we'll get into it. So the first thing I need to do is to, to whip this wheel off. So it's 17 mils and I've got the base. wasn't even on full, that was only on the second setting. No, I'd actually taken this wheel off before. So it should should, should come off a bit easier, but bit of, bit of persuasion with the rubber mallet. And off it comes. Put this to one side. And now we can see the uh, the brake caliper. I've got I do have an axle stand under there, but I've got it on the jack as well, so double security. There's a bit of a lip on the disc, but it'll be all right. Probably need new pads next time. The due, new disc next time the due the pads are due. So I'm going to give this a quick blast with some brake cleaner Just give it a quick wipe down and then get some more tools uh, and we'll get this, get this caliper off Okay, I don't know whether you see this but so one thing I want to do is see if I can push this piston in a bit before taking the, the caliper off and when you do that you get a screwdriver in see, and if you can see it's, it's slowly pushing it in and you don't have to worry about the pads because I've been replaced if I push that in a bit there we go that makes things a bit easier for the next time so take these covers off for the caliper bolts and I suspect these will be the the seven the seven mil jobby so I'll get something I'll uh, I'll try a big beast little brother with, with the seven mil allen and we should be able to get these this caliper off get these caliper bolts out and the caliper off so ready to go right this should just whip them off and then we go straight out bottom one and we'll do top one 
having tools like this just make short work of it all and then we should be able to just leave it this camper get this clip off should just leave her off prise it off it's only having an old screwdriver so it doesn't matter if it gets bent or broken Might even be able to leave that in. Should be able to lift that out. Can always fit that back afterwards, and then that's that's the caliper out. And we just pull off the pads, and the clips come off. Just pull these pads off. This one seems to be fighting me at the moment. I will prevail in the end. Now that's a that's, that's the pads out. So next thing I need to do is push this piston in. Got my big clamp. So it should be a nice easy job. Just wind it in. Let's see if we can uh, make this job a bit easier. Reposition the clock and in it goes. And that's it, pissing all the way in. So just get this clamp off, probably have to give this a bit of a clean, give this caliper a clean. Caliper cleaned up, we'll apply some grease and then we can fit the new pads. So these are new brake pads I'm fitting. They cost just shy of £20 from a local motor factor. And I did double check against BMW part numbers and, and the right. So there we go, there's a new one. I'll compare it with the old one, you can see how much more meat there is. It's, a, it's the right size and everything, so. That should be good to go. So I'll fit this new one first up and this one. So we really fit the old one. I'll fit this one first. Uh, where it goes uh, where it meets up. So just a 
just a little dab of copper grease and a bit on the, uh, on the piston and be careful not to get anything on the uh, on the friction surface of the pad that just should just pop in that would be nasty. deciding to fight me there we go that's secured and we'll do the same with the other one that's a little bit Copper grease on the on the caliper there. Just a tiny dab. You don't need a lot. Too much is bad is not enough. And these this one's got anti squeal shims. Pop that in. And um, that can go back on there like so. Put it a little bit. <coughs> Yeah, we know we should be right. So that's the caliper back in. And then before we put these these bolts in, I need to give them a a clean. So we'll give them a clean and we'll we'll grease them up. So cleaned up the the pins. Uh, just give them a smear with a uh, with just normal grease, normal. Normal lithium grease, some people use copper grease, but I just use normal grease because all I need to do is lubricate. Um, I think copper grease has a higher melting point. So just fit these pins in. But before I do that, I think I'll put a bit of a thread lock on. Just put that, pop that down somewhere to get a bit of thread lock a little thread lock that should do it and same on this one a little thread lock And then with this, just wind them in slowly. Don't want it. On, don't want it on number three setting. Get it lined up. Got got that one started. There we go, and got that one started, now I can wind them in. Don't know the torque settings, and this beer BMW will go with the German version of good and tight. should do it put the caps back on and then find the clip fit that back on and that should be job done Seems to be going a bit easier than it come off.
we go. That's sorted and I don't think that's going anywhere. So that's all done. I'll, I'll, uh, next thing I'll do is I'll, I'll pump the brake pedal to push the piston out. Because the last thing you want to do is uh, to have a, a brand tire at the moment when you've got no brakes. I'm going to think more I think I'll do before I put, put the wheel on to give it a quick smear. Light smear of copper grease. Then you'll have to take the wheel off and next one won't be struggling with it like I did. So I'm just going to get in and operate those brakes. Push the, the pistons out. So that is basically one side done. I'm going to do the other side, I'm going to do the other side off, off camera. And then once that's done, we'll move on to the back. So with the uh, both front ones done, only difference on the left hand side was the wear sensor. But apart from that, it was exactly the same. So we'll get this jacked up. We'll get this back wheel off and I would imagine it would probably be the, the same as the front so not much difference Let's get this in the air uh, should be alright I'm not I'm not gonna work directly under it so I'll get this wheel off bring it outside because it's nice day. There's more room for me to work with as well. And I'm saying natural daylight's the best light. So for some reason one of these wheel bolts is a 19. I don't know because I did take these off at some point previously. So yeah, it's that one off. And this wheel should come straight off he says hopefully. I didn't get to take this off actually, but I'll be right back with the hammer. Now I'm back with this uh, rubber mallet, let's see if it gets wheel off. And this might take ages, so I'll stop the camera, you don't see me hammering at a, at a wheel. So I'll cut to you once I've got this wheel off. So with the wheel off, I can start getting this caliper off. I don't know what I did before with fronts. Uh, it's made it a bit harder to leave the caliper. Big screwdriver is too big, so let's see if we can just. Yeah, that should make things a bit easier. And as before, it's. 7 mil I don't know if I can get him with the with my little impact I will just try it fairly nice I have to use That's all. yeah I'm struggling so I'm going to have to use a socket and ratchet so I've got my 3 8 ratchet, should be able to get in with that. Yep, that's cracked it off. And same at the bottom.
swamping out. Now get this top one out. That's the other one out. Um, this caliper should lift that one, so I've got this clip off. that comes and the caliper should just lift off and there's a power sensor on this side as as well free that wire off the pads out Surprise off this sensor. Prize it out like so. Uh, that's our, our pad and sensor. And then push this piston in. Seems to go so far that I have to reposition the clamp slightly so if we can get this clamp in a slightly better position. That's the uh, piston all the way in, so can get this clamp off. <sighs> we just as I getting it out and then just getting it on. everything up
the house for brake cleaner. And then should be ready for some some new pads. This stuff dries off quite quickly, but give it a give it a bit of a wipe down. Start applying some copper pay, copper grease. Just careful not to get any on the disc. We don't want any on the friction surfaces of the pads. Just a very light smear. And then get our pads out. These are, these are a bit cheaper than the fronts, just shy 15 quid. Now these are the same as the E93 series because the X1, well the 84 X1 is basically the, the E9, well the E91 which is a 3 series touring version of the e, E90 so it's basically a 3 series under the skin. And uh, just to make things a bit easier, we'll put, put that pad there. And now we need to retrieve the clip for our, our wear sensor. And then carefully, oh, nearly lost the clip. We need to thread the sensor. Through the caliper like so. And it should just pop in, well that's the theory. a bit harder to get in. I don't want to be damaging the sensor. Are in. Oops. This one seems to be fighting me at the moment. Because I'm not just damaging it. struggling with this one so I'll just stop the camera here um, once I've got that sensor in we'll carry on okay so I've got it cleaned in the pads in so I was struggling with that wear sensor but I got it got it in in the end and all ready to go back on so I'll need to clean up and grease these caliper pins I 
bit more grease than I need. Now where did I put put some thread lock on the threads? Dropping the uh, pin doesn't help. <laughs> Good luck, let's get this pin in. And we'll see if we can get this one started. <laughs> Started and clean up the other one. Go and break it cleaner. I'm going to use kitchen towel because that's all I've got. I order some, some blue towel. The same as with the other one. Smear of grease. Red lock. So you can't see this. And then get it started with the ratchet. So I'll keep it going. Again, Jim talks spec gotten tight. for that one. Secure this pad sensor wire. And the last thing I need to do is to operate the foot brake. It's separate from the brake. There's two pieces of pedal. And that Job done. Oh, once I've put the, uh, the clip back on, nearly forgot that. And that were really easy. So, give this all a quick dash of the brake cleaner. Down, give, a, a, give this a light smear of copper grease, and then we're ready to go back on. So that's it for this video. Got it all done. It's all working again. Hope you enjoyed this one. New vehicle to the channel. Anyway, please remember to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell if you want to be notified of uploads. Questions and comments in your web forum as ever. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.